Welcome back. Next, I would like to show you some of the cool interoperability you can get using the SQL interface. Firstly, I'd like to show how we can run SQL from our KX dashboards product. Here I am sharing dashboards with our trips data loaded up. Now I'm in design mode and I'm going to edit one of the widgets. We can see by default it's populated with Q code. We do have the option up the top to change to SQL. Let's do that and paste in our SQL equivalent code. Now, if we select apply, we see the data is there as before, now populated using SQL instead of Q. Let's just edit that again to make sure it's working. Let's add a filter on the query to only select where passengers are greater than two. And now we see in the widget, we are only getting those results back. Very cool. Now it's not just our own tools that we integrate with. We can also create dashboards in popular products such as Tableau, Power BI, Grafana, and DB Visualizer. The main way this can be done is through a Postgres interface, as this means you can call and execute your SQL in any application that supports Postgres. Let's look at Grafana first. So let's add a new Postgres database. Then we can add our connection details and then head to the Explore tab. Let's grab the same SQL we just used in our KX dashboard and paste that into Grafana and run the query. And voila, we get the same result. Finally, let's also look at Tableau. Let's again add a new Postgres database, fill in the connection details and sign in. We can see we have the trips table loaded for us, ready to query, or by opening a new sheet and dragging in some columns, we can create a nice visualization. Now I'm sure some of you noticed that in all of these tools, I didn't need to worry about adding the S prompt or .s.e. That's taken care of already for us as part of the interface, which makes things a lot easier. Okay, so that's it for this video and for the whole course. I'll see you in the next video, which is our final one, where I will share the end of course assessment details and some info on how you can get your certificate too.